to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. James? Yes? You know what today is. Ooh, everyone knows. Happy Pinecone Day! <laughs> and everyone knows the song. Ooh. Ooh. Old Joel Jimmy, Jimmy Tree Legs. legs. Coming, coming down, down the down mountain. mountain. Coming into your to room, room in, in the, the dark. And he's scaring your children with <laughs> kindness. Ness. And, and laughter. laughter and no presents yep. for you, whether you're good <laughs> or bad. <laughs> Nothing good about Jimmy Tree Legs, just a little fun scare. It just, just a uh, little fun scare before Christmas, right? A little fun scare. What he does is he leaves pine cones <laughs> next to your children's bed all over and the if- floor. <laughs> so when they get out of bed, they're immediately it changes frightened every year. with life. It changes every year. You make it Does a different it? thing. Look, we need to really get like a routine going with this Jimmy Tree Legs. He does. Di- he's so unpredictable. He's very mysterious. <laughs> he's so unpredictable. <laughs> very mysterious, Jimmy it's Tree It's terrifying. Legs. And and look, if anyone has ever touched a real dried pine cone, yeah, very sharp. Oh yeah, really sharp and and um would hurt a lot if you stepped on them. Yeah. Getting out of bed not knowing. So that's what we do to the kids, uh, and it's a fun we, little we, thing. We frighten them with with laughter, you know, because it's one of those things where you're in such pain when you step on it, and you're like, "Oh man, that hurts!" You know, well, we're laughing at <laughs> them, right? <laughs> so well, we're laughing at the our kids. laughter combined with the child's tears and laughter, because it's that pain threshold where you reach that limit, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're over it. And uh, keep in mind, the kids will not laugh at all. They will laugh with with tears in their eyes. They'll be in pain. Yep. You'll be like, ooh, pranked you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh looks like Jimmy Tree Legs get, paid you a visit, yeah. right? <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, God. So have first aid. Always what I, the one thing I can say about um, Pine Cone Day is have a first aid kit on hand. Available near For you, the yeah. festivities yeah, after yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. they, they come out of their room bleeding. So tonight, you know, we celebrate it with uh, Jesse makes a, a big pot of uh, pine, quince, pine cone stew. Quince pie. Um, yes. Quince and pine cone. Yes. Which is a great combo. We have So we have pine cone stew to start off with. Mm-hmm. Um, usually a uh, little pine cone bread. Right. Inedible. All of this. Uh, well, you try. We... The fun part is like trying to eat, trying to find a piece that doesn't have a sharp piece of pine cone in it. And that's also like a fun game too, right? <laughs> trying to find a piece of the delicious bread that doesn't have a sharp. We have uh, the pine cone pie, which is uh, pecan pie, just swapped out with actual pine cones. Pine cones, yeah. And um, then I swap out anything else good with quince, quinces. Correct. What is a quince? Um, no one knows. So anyways, uh, no, we like no a little bit of mystery. Me. Yeah. little Same with Jimmy Tree Legs, you know? Uh, and then afterwards... Um, we play uh, we play a game called uh, Dodge the Pine Cone. Dodge the Pine Cone. And we throw those at the children mm-hmm. and we make them dance in front of the fireplace. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, every I love year. this time of year. Every year. This is my favorite time of year. It's just like so festive, you yeah. know? <laughs> um, For those of you new to the show, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're just like, Jesus Christ, man, you've really taken this thing <laughs> far. This started a couple years ago when... I got fed up that every day is now being designated as a certain day. You it know, was part that. Pie day, puppy day, mm-hmm. all that other shit. And then we have children. And we were like, what if we just made up our own day? Right. Our own holiday for the children. Mm-hmm. M- much the same way Kwanzaa or something else has been invented sure. around the holidays. Mm-hmm. We're just like, eh, great. What, what is this? What can we possibly celebrate um, that would be new, fresh? We made it up. Very Scientologist. Very fun. And yeah. uh, we came up with... With Pinecone Day on December 16th only, mm-hmm. and a creature named Jimmy Tree Legs, who is made out of entirely pine cones. Think Slender Man meets Groot. Correct. Uh, shuffles down a tree <laughs> um, after midnight, sneaks into your children's mm-hmm. bedroom, and then scares them with 
and leaves pine cones right where they step out of bed. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's like, oh, have you been a good boy? You, you, you might get one less pine cone this year. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're always going to get cut with the pine cone. That's a given. Always. And that's just the season. But if you're Tis good, the season. then he'll take one away where it's like the, you'll have a little bit less bleeding and pain. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was part that. So it was part that you, we were like fed up with like donut day, dog day, sister day, dad yeah. day, whatever. Um, we also, on the first episode where we came up with this, we're talking about 23 and me. Yes. And um, I wanted to like know what my origin um, like oh, yeah. traditions were. Maybe we can um, <laughs> celebrate them as a family. And you are famously don't care. Don't do, I do not care. About where you come from, nope. your family, your ancestors. No. The same. You're kind of like how I am with museums. You I are with your own. I didn't care own, about half my family. Yeah, you are with your own. <laughs> the way the way I am with museums, you are with your own family, which is like I don't care the origin story. I don't want to know what like ethnicity or anything. I am. I have no interest. You have no no zero. interest. Zero. Yeah. You'll sometimes you know talk about Betsy Ross, but. You know, uh, that, is, even, that is real. I don't even know if that's true. But anyway. That is real. Well, we my don't know grandmother's name to. was Jeanette Ross from Pennsylvania. And she was part of the Ross family. Hence, my name is Ross. Okay. So, it's real. You're welcome. No, I know. So, and the American creative. flag, freedom. It's so creative. And, but, yeah. Oh, uh, Jesse. So. <laughs> when we eventually do it and you find that out. No, I know it's real. I know that's real. you shit your I think jeans. your parents talk about it, too. So, I know You're it's gonna real. You're going to shit your jeans. I don't know if they do. The one that would is dead, so who knows? Gosh. And That's this is like all part of the Pine Jimmy trip. Yeah, Pinecone Day is That's like. What, so Pinecone Day, you, all, you also celebrate uh, everybody who's dead, or you just talk about them and then uh, in, your, in your family, and you talk with about like them. A blat- with a fun little blatant disregard, right? Right. <laughs> Which is what you're doing right now. No, but because it's Pinecone Day. <laughs> That's what Pinecone Day is. The one that knows would be dead. Yeah. Moving on, That's right? That's Pinecone Day. That is Pinecone Day. That is day. classic you Jimmy Tree Legs. You move on, right? You have to. You just keep moving you on. You have to smile through the pain. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I wanted to have like, I was like, oh, I wanted, I want to know what the traditions are, right? And you're yeah. like, how about, here we go. We'll just start, we'll start a tradition. You don't need to know where you come from. Mm-hmm. You don't, this is, this is non-denominational. It do, we don't see no, colors. Jimmy yes, Tree like no doesn't see color. He Correct. doesn't see religion. No, doesn't see he race. He doesn't see how much money you have. Uh, he literally will uh, ca- scare and hurt everyone. Everyone equally. White, black, yeah. Asian, and so Hispanics. It's a, it's a uniting thing, right? It and is. So th- that's that was our answer to me not knowing what my real heritage is and what my real yeah. tradition should be. Yeah, because you thought you were Hispanic or Mexican. Well, right? it's widely known because I talk about it all the time. That um, I was lied to all my life and was told I was Mexican. Right. Like over half yes. Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and what I found out when my mom finally took the 23 and Me mm-hmm. was that, A, I'm a triplet, which is crazy. I found two other people yep. in, <laughs> I, I in, just Switzer- met them a week ago. in Switzerland yeah. that um, are my them. identical um, twins. Triplet. Yep, twins. Tri- uh, triplet tr- twins. Triplets. There's two more babies with you. Yeah, yeah. They're I the, think there was supposed to be four. There's the twins, but I of you. clearly ate one of them. Yeah. So um, that in, happens the, a in, lot the womb, in the womb, in the womb, yeah, it should, does happen you a lot. Specify that it's it in does the womb. happen. Yeah. Either that, or I got all the nutrients because I'm the biggest one. Yes. But anyway, uh, in the womb. In the womb. I'm not saying after. <laughs> it wasn't like she was drinking them, making a stew. Yeah, it out wasn't of like them. in the nursery, like eating. Correct. I just want to clarify that for the audience. No. So what she that last part was a joke, but what she did find out in 23 and Me was that she's at, we're actually Greek. An Italian. What? No, not one, not one tiny percentage of Mexican. Sliver of Mexican. Not one sliver of Spanish or Mexican. Because before she knew, you know, she had told me with with the pine cone day, she was like, look, you can put all the, Jimmy Tree Legs can put all the pine cones down around the the children's bed or the the parents' bed and all that stuff, right? Uh But because of our Mexican heritage, one of us is going to pop out of bed with a leaf blower and just blow the pine cones out of the way before we... Step down on the ground, and I was like, "Whoa, that's racist!" And she said, "No, I'm Mexican. Right. Our entire family is Mexican." And I was like, "Oh, all right. Well, it must be all right." Right. And now so the I go back and like, look at that. Yeah. So the product of like statement. being lied to and thinking that you're Mexican is that you'll say stuff like that. Yeah. And being like, "It's okay. I can say that because I'm Mexican." False racism. Come to find out, it was just pure racism. <laughs> 
I thought it was like, oh, because, you know, I can but say that I'm Jewish know. or whatever, right? It's like that Chappelle sketch where he's black and blind mm-hmm. and thinks mm-hmm. he's a white supremacist. Mm-hmm. Like, And like she could never really speak Spanish. Like her mom speaks fluent. Yeah. And grandma speaks fluent. But my mom, not really at all. She knows like the same, like bicicleta, right? Yeah, yeah. She knows like light, you know, sure. all basics. Noche. Right. Yeah. Basics. And so it was always like... You're so Mexican, but like, you know, you don't know any Spanish. So how does your grandmother know Spanish? If so they, she's everyone not was lied to. Oh, no. Yeah. I'd because hate to learn I a told different you language because we're from like, they're that. from Laredo, Texas. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, which gotcha. Which is gotcha. basically Mexico, yeah, right? Yeah, right on the border, yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're all, very, they're like lighter skin, but they look Italian. My grandma looks Italian. Um, her mother looks Italian. Sure. But you're like, oh, okay, maybe you're like a Spaniard, right? Yeah. Because you don't look Mayan. Right. Obviously. Right? Yeah. Whatever. This may be going off the rails a little bit. Not but, at all. But uh, so they have darker olive skin. Features, yeah. No. No. What do you mean darker features? Uh, you know, their face is a little How more do you have darker discolored feature? than the rest of their body. No, that's skin. Well, sometimes when it's exposed to sunlight, certain parts of the body, like we learned this from China. You know that, right? I'll wearing, just let you spin out. No, what they wear gloves uh, because they the, the the richer section of the culture. Oh yes, because they not, want to be lighter. Correct, so they're covered up, right? Right. So, you know, you go out in the sun. Yeah, but that's not a feature. That's a skin color. Yeah, it is a feature. So when you I say mean, dark feature, yeah, there's kind of a little bit of a connotation with that. We'll 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 strike is that, that racism. We'll strike that from the record. What's a darker sure. feature then? A dick. Are you talking about I don't want to say. I think people at home are probably screaming at Are the, you talking about a dick? Sure, why not? So, Jesse, my mind was not there. Absolutely. This is pinecone day. Right. So dark, they ha- had dark skin, olive mm-hmm. skin. And so it was like, okay, sure. I mean, I don't know. This Again, this was before 23andMe where people actually knew and you just yeah. went along with whatever. You were. You were. Yeah. And like, oh, my dad's super, super white looking. Pale. Freckles, right? Yes. Light hair. So I'm like... No hair. But when he had hair. He had light hair? Light hair. hair. Okay. Um, and so you're like... And beard, right? A little bit of reddish in the beard. Very... Just all the like German, Dutch, right? All yeah, the like... A yeah. little bit he, of Irish probably. Yes, like correct. the white, white, white. white There's man, no yeah. tinge of yep. any other... Same with my grandfather. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is probably why you don't... You don't care. You're like, well, we're just... We're all white. We don't even, you guys yeah. don't even get like that dark in the no, sun. No, we're all white. You burn. I, no, that's not true. I, I, like I'll tan in the summer. Um, yeah, but you have to really work at it. You have to set a timer. 100%. Right? And you have to like put the sunscreen on yes. right at the right time. Yep. So that's a, that's a white person's game for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the, Whereas like I just go out in the sun for hours and I'll get like an olive because apparently I'm Greek and Italian. Yeah. Well, I thought bit. it was Mexican, Greek and Italian, you know, say lovey. But you have always loved, and, and this is in your defense, um, you've always loved Greek salads um, <laughs> and Italian food. A hummus? Yeah. Like an oily hummus? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You have always loved I've loved that. a hummus, yeah. So I think you, pot, you, you I don't like known. fish. That's very Mediterranean. Right. So like the Mediterranean diet, yeah, mostly I like it. Yeah. An Italian, I mean, if you go off liking Italian food, then we're all Italian, right? That's an easy one. Sort you can't of, be yeah. like, oh, I'm, I knew I was Italian. I yeah. love, sp- <laughs> you know what I mean? I love spaghetti <laughs> and Parmesan cheese. It's like, yeah, we all are. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got a little we Italian. We all love pizza. Yeah, exactly. You dumb I bitch. knew it. Yeah, yeah. Me. I knew I was Italian. I knew I was. I love pizza. Guys, don't I always? <laughs> you guys, don't I always ask for pizza, right? I don't know anyone who doesn't like spaghetti and pizza. Right? Fucking terrorist, I guess. But uh, if you're at home right now and you're celebrating Pinecone Day with us. No, they've turned. I mean, the ra- We want to say. If you're still listening, you're clearly, clearly racist. No, not at all. No, you're not. Uh, look, if you've got darker features, you do. Um, oh. People do, Jesse. Uh, I saw a model who was black and she's got white around her face. So it happens. There's oh. pigment thing. You know what I'm talking about? That supermodel? Ah, oh, God damn it. 
She has the uh, Michael Jackson thing. Partially, it yeah. Called? It's so like it happens, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. It's a skin condition. What skin is it called? Condition. Can you? It's not supposed to happen no, all the no, time, but it yeah. does uh, occasionally. Um, but if you're if you're at home celebrating Pinecone Day with us, we want to say to you, obviously, uh, check on your children first <laughs> before you turn on this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, your children are probably bleeding and they're in a lot of pain. Vitiligo, yeah? Yeah, there it is. Um, so check on your children first, uh, yourself second, and then look out for Jimmy Tree Legs because, you know, he'll just... Go through all your food first. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll, Rummage through. Yeah. He'll take a shit in your pillowcase and then put it back on your pillowcase. Like oh. Jimmy Tree Legs is an awful human. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll fill up a, your bathtub uh, full, of, full of clam juice and then hop in there, mm-hmm. take a nice soak. True. There is nothing worse than the smell of pine cones and clam juice. Uh, that's, that's probably number three. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, check all your tires because those are going to be popped with pine cones. Yep. You usually pop all your pine cones so that way you can't drive to your the nearest hospital. Uh-huh. Uh, I think fourthly, if if I may mm-hmm. invent that word for you today, James, mm-hmm. uh, definitely, definitely, and this is this is real key too. Um, check your gas tank because uh, he'll siphon all that gas out. Sure. And then uh, just stuff that full of pine cones as well. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to be able to drive once you get those tires fixed. Right. Uh, and then, obviously, the stoves. Check your stove. Um, microwave. He's infamous for putting pine cones in microwaves. 10 to 20. Turn that up to, to 5, 6. Mm-hmm. And uh, watching those things I'll pop also off. also leave gas going. So if you have a gas yes. stove uh, or oven... Yep. He will just turn it on and walk out and of your walk house. Walk it out, not light the pilot. Yeah. So if you're smelling anything weird like that, <laughs> check go, that first. Don't go nine nights. Y- like, yep. Check the check pilot that. light. Uh, then go ahead and pop on over to your washer and dryer. Chances are both of those will be filled to the the top with pine cones, um, and the washer will be on. So. Uh, definitely check that out. Oh my out. gosh, tis the season. Like, I'm so excited, right? Yes. All yes, of this yes, stuff yes, just yes, really yes. gets me in the in the spirit. Of Pinecone Day. Sure. Uh, and then sap. Sap is a big one. Um, that'll be all over your carpets. So you're going to want to get those professionally cleaned or just ripped up and <laughs> torn out. You're going to need a box cutter uh, to do that. Mm. So obviously watch for the sap on your carpets. And then um, most of your shower heads, too, uh, will be pre-filled with sap. Yep. So when you turn those on, right into your hair and then body hair, everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's that's just a little bit of fun from Jimmy Tree Legs. Jimmy Tree Legs, Legs. coming down the mountain. Ten. Yep. <laughs> into, into Storming your... all the villages mm. like you've never seen him. Do not sleep tonight because Jimmy he's Tree coming Legs to is get you. you. Yeah, yeah. And what it is, it's because uh, the hands, too, uh, real sharp. Think Picture if, if Freddy Krueger had just two pine cone hands and just scrape those across because your face. Because you guys know. What I would mean, be worse? This is what I'm saying. So at the... Vi- the pine cones go like this, and then subscribe there's the on YouTube. Point yep, is right Ross here Patterson at the end. YouTube, so you can see so this. He takes all of it's like having one of these that sharp point right there. Yep, as your finger. Exactly, and that's just scraping across your face, back, thighs, calves, um, ankles. Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna be a real mess for you sure. if you if you wake up and see him. Now, if you pretend like you're sleeping, and just let him do his thing. He'll completely. kill you. What? <laughs> Wait, what is <laughs> that? was the natural progression, though, right? Jesse, I was going to say, he'll do all of the stuff that I just mentioned. Oh, okay. And then, you know, let you wake up to it. So oh. I would definitely pretend like you're sleeping. Um, okay. <laughs> Or not. I mean, look, it depends on the kind of Jimmy tree leg that you believe He'll in. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. <laughs> I mean, look, though, he, we have not made him out to be anything other than a complete psychopath murderer. But he does not want to be. That goes into your child's you kid. Don't, you're, How- you're supposed to keep your eyes shut the entire time. That's the, that's the whole thing with Jimmy tree legs. So. Okay, but I'm now like starting to get terrified myself. You know, like when you talk about something enough and yeah. get scared, yep. you scare yourself. 
That's what I'm doing. Uh, toilet seats. Those will be ripped out and replaced with pine cones glued in uh, to the top of the bowl. So middle of the night, you know, you get up and sit down on a toilet. Mm. Expect pi- a pine cone going through your uh, back of your uh, thighs and then ass, obviously. Mm. So uh, I would be prepared for, for that. Uh, last thing mm-hmm. that I would be prepared for, Jesse. Yeah. And this is key. This is real key. Is uh, there will be a fire in your fireplace. However, it'll be flew down and all pine cones. So you're going to get smoked out at some point of your house. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he wets them a little bit first, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so. it's just like a, <laughs> a huge... <laughs> You get completely smoked out. Yep. And that's Jimmy Tree Legs, man. So when he leaves, because he lights that before he leaves. And then. So you guys send us your pictures of Jimmy Tree Legs. And Pine Cone uh, Day. Pine Cone Day. Uh, we have been getting some. People really get into it. So we appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and w- and we'll, we will be making shirts. And stay safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stay safe out there on Pine Cone Day because clearly. Jimmy Tree Legs, legs he's coming, coming, coming down, down here. the chimney, chimney hole. hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pine cones, though, um, it's, you know, it's a conifer cone, so that's uh, Latin for sharp. We have to get to the sponsors before you go into this nah, bullshit. we don't. We don't. Where you're just like, are you just going to tell me facts about pine cones? Jesse, the audience needs to know that, too. Uh, the familiar woody cone that we all know is a female cone. He did this last year. Produces seeds, Jesse. So uh, for those of you out there, um, we actually had, uh, uh, this is a true story. We actually, so we we lived in, uh, or we live in Pine Valley. We used to live in Pine Valley. Um, We're in the Pine Valley area. Area, yeah. A lot of pine trees. A lot of. Yes. F- the, the other house we had was a lot of pine cones. Yes. Everywhere, yes, and pine trees. Mm-hmm. Those fucking things are dangerous. Dangerous, sharp. It's where it all. You know, when we first said pine cone day, it was like, oh, cool. And then when we actually like grabbed one or really looked at it, we're like, pine cones are terrifying. I had to. We had to cut down one of those pine trees. Mm-hmm. Um, fucking a. Remember that it was dying. Oh yeah. Fifteen hundred bucks, and then your mom was just like, "Hey man, I really like the the things left over." Um, the dirt pile? Well, it was dirt oh. and ground up wood. And uh-huh. <laughs> and she liked what? What'd she like? She's like, the kids loved it. So we, I told the guy not to take it. And I was like, oh, yeah. It was about 4,000 pounds worth of <laughs> tree there that I had to uh, wheelbarrow out by hand and dig up and excavate myself, which was awesome. But the kids did love playing in that mud pile, to they be honest did. with you. And that's, that's the reason I bring that up. That's the danger out there. That's how Jimmy Tree Legs lures you in. Kids do love pine trees and and cones initially mm-hmm. uh, until they get they get struck by one until they get a um a visit from Jimmy Tree Legs yeah. right yeah so it's really for their own protection <laughs> to scare them from scare them from the world yeah cuz otherwise you're just going to walk around the world and you're like ah somebody like Jimmy Tree Legs isn't out there I can do whatever I want wrong wrong you need to protect yourself at all times in this world There's a Jimmy Tree Legs lurking on every single corner in every single town of America, you know? Mm -hmm. They just go by different names. You know, your local drug dealer, K-Bob, where you're just like, hey, man, the fuck's the sitch? Um, And it's like, well, why why are you K-Bob? And it was like pretty pretty self-explanatory. Well, here's the sitch, right? I I like chicken kebab, so they call me K-Bob. And it's just like, okay, Mm. he will fucking stab you. With that goddamn metal thing that goes to the kebabs. Two seconds, take that eye out. That's a Jimmy Tree Legs. So that's why he needs to come and scare you. So it'll it'll help save your life one day. Right. Uh, should we get to the sponsor shapes? I think we should. Oh, we should. Shouldn't we? We should. And uh, we shall. Yeah. First sponsor up is ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. They have a Jimmy Tree Legs special going on right now. Stop. They do. It's a flash sale. And oh. in honor of Pinecone Day, it's up right now. 25% off everything in the store. Go, 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 go. Do it, do it, do it. Today's the, the only day, last day in in honor of Pinecone Day. That would 
I would really be like, oh, we made it if our sponsors did a Pinecone Day like sale. Well, it's a flash sale. Would for the it. 16th, they didn't specifically say it was for Pinecone no, Day. No, no, I'm, I'm just assuming saying, it like, was. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously it is, but I would like for them to. Wouldn't that be awesome? 25% of everything in the entire store. It's amazing. Uh, dead serious. That's real, right? It's real. It's oh, going okay. on right now. Uh, but it ends at midnight on the 16th. So get go. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash shrinking bros right now and get your shit. 25% of everything. Um, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, I mean, I think that's right. Well, you'll find out when you get there. <laughs> and that's what Jimmy Tree Legs does to you, you know? Right. Uh, what has he done to my house? Uh, I was out of town that weekend. My family, my wife and kids were there. Well, you'll find out when you get home. You find their bodies. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. And uh, if, you, if you're after the 16th, look, um, they've got a page you go program. 36 months, no interest. No one is doing that on the interwebs. And uh, it's amazing. If you're military or, or a first responder also, um, you get 15% off of everything. Beds, mattresses, adjustable bases, pillows. You know they get a shredded pillow, Jesse? I didn't know that. Yes. Fuck you. Um, for just people that like a little bit, you know, like if you like a firmer, yeah. tempur style. Some people are style. a little bit country. Some people no, are a little bit rock and I, roll. I like a softer pillow sometimes. I like to have both. So I have like the firm, like the the ghost bed classic mm-hmm. pillow yeah and then a shredded to kind of hold on to yeah you do because i'm f- surely not going to hold on to you why i'm joking god damn it james <laughs> jeez i'm joking i'm the only one that's going to save your life from from jimmy tree legs and that oh, well, is yeah. no way to treat me that night i will yeah <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the year you're like hey man a body pillow is fine that's all i need look I don't like to brag about this, but I'm a sweaty Betty, you know, and I sleep hot. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. Your body temp gets hot, but you don't sweat. No, but I, I get really hot. Yeah, your and internal temp is, uh, is crazy. You used to think that I may spontaneously combust and you were like looking into it. I still believe that. You were like researching I it. still believe that I'm going to wake up and you'll be on fire one day. <laughs> your core, your yeah. core is real. Yep. Hot. I and mean, you'll freak me out sometimes. I, here's what I'll do too: is I will pay Alicia Keys. This girl is on fire, and 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 film it for obviously our Ross Patterson Revolution Facebook right. page and stuff. So that way, yeah. everybody will be like, "Oh, one good last chuckle while Jesse combusted and died." You know, right? This girl is on fire. You'll be like, "Dude, your Dude. core is hot. It's Chernobyl." Sometimes. It hasn't been as bad since we got the ghost bed, though, to be honest with you, right? It's true, because it's, it's, it's cooling. It's not like a normal, like, super hot. No, 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 not at all. Fabric mattress. Nah, you're good. You're good, James. I'm just messing with your ding dong parts. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. I popped a little in before the show started. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can tell. I got a little piece of pine cone in my eye. I'm not going to lie. This is starting to, to tear up a little bit here. Did you? Yeah. That's very You should very definitely dangerous. subscribe on uh, YouTube so you can see this because I could lose my eye. That's really dangerous. Well, that's Jimmy Tree Legs. He's dangerous. And this is a dangerous time we're living in right now. Sure. Um, and he, that's a, a nice reminder of never be too careful. Uh, Strike Force Energy is used by all the Golden Girls. You can see my Christmas uh, sweater. I got the Golden Girls on my sweater here. Woo. It's a good one. It is a good one. Uh, big fan. Uh, big fan of Strike Force as well. Four amazing flavors Grape, Ridge, uh, Lemon, Orange, 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. That was orange and original. I know those both sounded um, the same when you said it. Did they? Yeah, because you said original Orange. Well, I get a, I get a Me 23 and me some, uh, see if I get some French in me. You know, were you gonna me too? I was about me to, me, yeah. I was gonna me too, and then me twenty three myself. <laughs> twenty three and me. Yep, I'm gonna twenty three and me myself, and then me too myself. <laughs> you know, uh, as soon as I know what my heritage is, that will tell me how to uh, inappropriately how to, touch myself. Sure. Yep. If if I'm Irish, then I stuff an entire potato up my own ass. There you go. And me too myself. There you go. Let's leave that. <laughs> one. Let's leave it at that. Don't go through all the different things. I'll try to squeeze my penis into a bottle of Guinness uh, right <laughs> into the hole of it. And that I will me too myself as right. my own a- ethnicity. 
Mm, Culture? Heritage? Heritage? Yeah. Heritage? Heritage? Yeah. Uh, find out what your heritage is by going to strikeforceenergy.com. You don't. That's not what it is. They don't do that there? No. <laughs> um, no. Turns out it's an energy drink. And um, it's a tasty, tiny little tin pouch that squeezes open into every liquid available. Promo code REVOLUTION at uh, StrikeForceEnergy.com. Big, big fan. Big, big savings. Big, big sales. Big, big deals. Um, do it. Last but not least, we got StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you're right. Yep. Fun fact, the Chinese hate pine cones. Yeah. Is that true? Do they have them? Do they have pine trees in China? Look. I got bamboo trees. I wonder if they have a bamboo day over there. Everybody eats bamboo shoots and a big uh, panda bear. Just you thought that's every day. Is it? Sounds okay. like. Okay. Well, uh, either everything, or. It sounds like everything I know about China, as you just said. Yeah. If you uh, look, if you need to shave the pine cone stavings out of yourself, better do with a straight razor, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You got to get, you got to pick them out of your feet. Use a straight razor. Uh, that's probably not right, is it? Probably shouldn't do that. Straight razor to the pine cones. No. What? Yeah, okay. Um, so if you, if you, I want to correct myself. If you have a pine cone sticking out of your foot, do not try to shave it off. With a straight razor. Uh, use that for your face, legs, pubes, uh, taint. What else, All Jesse? of the things. Oh, butts. Yep. Vaginas. Yep. Dicks. Dicks. Yep, there you go. Uh, penises, buttholes, yep. boobs, nipples. Yeah. People have hair on their nipple? That's good. Where are they? are they? They're not from this country. Could be me, but I've used the straight razor since I was 10. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, if you need a, a kit, look, this is the best holiday gift you can get for uh, for a loved one, a uh, father, an uncle, a brother. Put a straight razor's kit in their, their fucking bag, dude. You're stocking. You're good to go. I love their smolder aftershave. Their cologne is amazing. The best in the biz. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. 20 twins. Jabe's. A lot going on. Uh, in the news today. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay. Um, it's just a fucking who's who of, of who's what. You know? Uh, do you have any stories? I do, actually. Okay. <laughs> I'm just debating about how to word this here. Um, President Trump uh, went after uh, Greta. That was pretty funny. Okay. So she needs to control her anger issues um, or her- anger management. She needs to go some th- through some anger management. Okay. Um, and just needs to chill. Okay. That That's his, what he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Eesh. Don't love... Well, hey. So there was a tweet um, that was really, really funny. And uh, um, I was going to say, like, I don't love that he's going after, like, a 16 year old girl. But hey. Well, she went after him. So. Well, and he is an adult. But, like, uh, yeah. Either way. Uh, but then I was like, oh, so did we. So I can't really say shit. Yeah. I, this is just fucking weird. So then people responded with, she has Asperger's. The response back to that was, well, why is a 16-year-old Asperger's trying to give us social and economic change? Like, trying to provide that for us, you know? Why wouldn't they? Because you're 16, you haven't really done shit and don't really know shit about the world. Like, okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah, weird, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was on that boat. What mm-hmm. was the thing we saw? She was doing the interview on the boat. Um, mm-hmm. God, with this girl, man. I, it, it almost feels like a plant at this point. That's what it's always felt like, but I mean, yeah. to, to you it did. Well, not so much a plant. Uh, yeah, I, I, the kind of thing where like she was re- wheeled out. Do you know what I mean? Like she may be exactly who she is, but was definitely propped up and pushed up and like put on all these things for people that you know want to face for their cause whatever it may be maybe I, look, we'll ask Dan because he's got Asperger's we'll ask mm-hmm. him on Drinking Bros News today yeah 
I wonder if you're just pissed off all the time, like in your mind, and you, you know, th- sometimes the way you word things and say things, because that, if that's true that she does have Aspergers, then there you go. But that's the wrong person to prop out because I, I personally just thought it was like some pissed off little girl, and mm-hmm. uh, well, it is, it is kind of. But like the other thing is, I after watching some of those interviews with her, she's sixteen, mm-hmm. but looks a lot younger. Yeah, she does. Like it's like a twelve year old, and it's, yeah. that's creepy too. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, man, at sixteen, I was at least you know, a fucking grown up. I felt like. Well, remember the girl wise. as far as the uh, like the Parkland shooting girl with like the shaved head. And yeah, she but was like, and she was sixteen, but she seemed, seemed a lot like a older. fucking thirty two year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, uh, even that fucking kid, the David kid, David Hogg, right? Mm-hmm. And they, you know, they plopped him out there, or he plopped him um, himself out there, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he seemed <laughs> older as well, where it was just like, oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they were, they're a year apart. There's something different about this girl that it just, now more and more with the Time Magazine and all that shit, like, it just seems like a plant for controversy. Mm-hmm. And I guess, like, if you're Time Magazine, it's probably a good decision because look, like, all print magazines are dying yeah, very, very quickly. So your magazine is, yeah. Kind of like Rolling Stone putting that, it was the fucking Boston mm-hmm. massacre guy on the cover. It's just like, you know, uh, I, I guess that's what you're down to, but, um, it lessens to me, it lessens the, the importance. If you're there to talk about climate change now, it's just like, yeah, mm-hmm. all we're doing is talking about this girl. Now I don't really give a shit about the climate change. Right. You know? And that kind of takes away, yeah. Uh, Because DiCaprio has been a big, big, you know, hey man, I'm, his whole life has been climate change, Mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. Whenever he talks and speaks and says shit about it, I'm like, all right, cool, man. Like, you've done documentaries and everything else. He has a lot of pictures with her. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I I just saw she has a picture with Obama as well. And I was like. I, yeah, but do, but do they like her or the idea of her is the question. Like, I don't know. I've I've never met her. I mean, they're they're meeting her and hanging out with her. But I think I think the was, idea of her is that she is trying to affect some kind of change for something she believes in uh-huh. at a very young age, and she does. She is like out there protesting, doing stuff constantly. So, like, as crazy as it is, like she's doing it. Right? Yeah. It wasn't that one speech. It wasn't just the boat ride. She really is like, she is always protesting, leading these things. Like, so she's this young kid that it sucks that it's climate change because I feel like she could make a difference with so many other things that she can actually see the results of. Mm -hmm. Right? Because she is like a little leader. Right? She gets all these huge groups of protesters and she's leading them through like the streets or doing these, all these um, events. So... It's it, like I said, it's just a shame that I don't I don't know. You just can't see like direct change from this climate change thing. Like what is the answer over the long haul? I, what is the answer? Whereas man, like, I, she's such a born leader in that way. She can really rile up a crowd. Clearly, I understand I wish she was like going, you know, here's the thing. It, 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 this is me being totally honest, right? Non biased by any. Mm-hmm. form of politics on this issue, okay? Yes, I do believe there is climate change and we're going through it, right? Sure. As far as the left is concerned, as far as the right is concerned, I, I understand their argument too of like, hey man, you will never stop the two biggest countries in the world, China and India, who are causing the most pollution. Mm-hmm. You'll never ever get proper regulations out of those guys. So what the fuck are we going to do about it? Mm-hmm. Um and we're one country out of, you know, and granted, there's a bunch of countries that want to, they're in the Green Deal and all that stuff, but it's not enough. When you have the two biggest countries in the world, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, they have a, p- a population of, Alex is, uh, Alec, is, um, is China th- 3 billion? L- look up the population of China. And then India, India is massive. That's over. 1.3 billion for China. How many for India? Because India's got to be up there as well. Over, yeah, 1.3 as well. Over a billion, yeah. So, 
Uh, with three hundred million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you look at our, if you look at the United States, right, one point three billion versus the United States is is just over three hundred, three thirty. It's guessed, mm -hmm. depending upon immigration. You don't really know that answer. Mm -hmm. High end would be three thirty right now. Um, that is four times the size of this country. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you, that we can't stop them. Like that's four times the size. That's four United States in one, each of those. So look at eight different United States worth of pollution going into the air. What are you going to do, man? So unless those guys come to the table, India and China, mm -hmm. not gonna, I don't think you're going to change anything. Yeah. I don't think you're going to change anything for a long time. And China's communist, so good luck there. I, I think you'd have a better shot at India listening, but mm -hmm. um, but, but China is going to tell you to get fucked. And yeah. we don't even know what Russia, what they're fucking doing. After watching Chernobyl, who knows, man? Chernobyl? Chernobyl, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's so it's it's grim. It's like a grim thing to talk about because you're kind of like, yes, it's happening. No, we can't do anything about it. So, yeah, it's like kind of a sad thing, right? Kind of. I, I'm in the Y2K camp here of like when shit gets serious. I think people It'll will be... come up with a solution. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in the nth hour, maybe. Well, maybe it'll just be too far gone. I have no idea. I, I, I think they will be able to. That sounds fucking crazy now, but like, uh, you'll be able to put clouds. You'll be able to put. You know, change the weather. Um, I know it might be Japan right now who is shooting shit up into the clouds to cause rain for the crops. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we're already there as far as that goes. How far off would we be about developing something else and uh, uh, to put around the climate? I mean, you're looking at sort of like a biodome sitch, but like, what if you put something over the the world itself like mm -hmm. i don't think it's that far-fetched i also don't think that it's, it's that far-fetched for technology to put some something out around the world as well mm -hmm. uh from space and i know fucking president trump right now is getting a lot of heat for space force but man all the shit that i'm reading and, and hearing from like friends in the military and shit like lasers is coming man it's real the, it, for real where you're shooting they're testing it now. Yeah. Like, I've seen the test. You're shooting lasers from space down and eliminating, fucking nuking a car and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about it on, on, on Drinking Bros, uh, fake news, where it's like, dude, you're living in real genius. That, that was the plot of real genius, was to develop a laser from space so you could nuke something. Um, I know that they're testing them now. We're not that far away from that. Mm -hmm. Like, So if you're going to tell me that we're able to put satellites and everything else fly fucking goddamn tesla to mars or whatever it is like I, I would have to imagine by the time it gets bad enough which in my estimate would probably be i don't know 80 to 100 years right somewhere in there mm -hmm. uh imagine what technology is going to be like then mm -hmm. um with all the shit we have now in 80 to 100 years fuck it's going to be crazy they're going to be able to fix this i think yeah. Therefore, I don't really care about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, like I said, grim. <laughs> grim, well, a grim prognosis. Grim for 80 to 100 years. I don't think it's going to do anything now. <laughs> like All this shit that's going on now with hurricanes and uh, snowstorms and everything else, whenever you see it on the news, they always say one thing at the end. This is the worst one I've seen since 1954. Right. So it did happen before. Um, one of these Cat 5s or w whatever the fuck it was, right? This is the worst blizzard we've had since 1902. Right. This is the worst crop season we've had since 1890, whatever. And it's like, all right, cool. Because that's the other camp of that it's cyclical. And like it all just comes around. It's yes. all going to happen again. But yeah. So I don't know what the answer is. But really is. in LA, like the amount of insane hot days mm -hmm. right is a lot more than it used to be but i mean i don't know it but you look like at uh, so so la is a great example right you look at los angeles and the population there and the traffic and the smog you're at an india yes. china type level of yes. people in a small city that it's just like 
it is bursting there. Uh, that city is bursting at the seams of people. Mm-hmm. Traffic is out of control. Uh, you know, and they tried to curb it with a train. Remember how well that worked out? Nobody uses the fucking train. Mm-hmm. If you want to take the cleanest, safest route, take the train in L.A. Yeah. Nobody's on that motherfucker. Yeah. And it's fast as shit. Um, but still, nobody wants to do it, man. No, I'd rather be in my car. I'd rather listen to, you know, podcasts in my car, whatever it is. Right. Which is great for us, L.A. But not so much the environment. Mm-hmm. Um, so the cities that are having the biggest issues with it and problems... Like, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on in Salt Lake City. Uh, that's me personally. There the is air, this, like, will poison you. But for, like, six time. months out yeah, of the year, yeah. it swoops in, and uh, I don't know what, if, if that's from factories or what it is. We Obviously, a bunch of listeners from there, that they'd be able to chime in better than I would. But it, it goes to show you that in different cities, there's clearly other things going on. Is that part of it as well, where it's just like, all right, Shit, there's too many people, too many things going on there. Uh, if you can't curb cities in America right now, mm. I mean, fucking, I hate to keep going back to San Francisco over and over again, but with the fucking defecation and piss and urine and all that other shit, right? It's going to create a bunch of diseases and everything else. If you can't curb your own problems in America, how are you going to curb pollution around the world? Right, and that was I the just first point I was saying with this girl is like, she clearly can make a statement, make a difference, like make a splash. Mm-hmm. I wish it was for something that was, yeah, we could see some real results with, but yeah. look, I mean, Hey, I know it's fucking weird to talk about, but that's been on my mind. Um, and this story and this girl isn't going away for a while mm-hmm. where, you know, now we're getting into the year and roundups and everything else. And like, man, I have seen her on the news and in press every 10 seconds, this little girl's face, is jammed in my face and I'm just like, all right, cool. Let's address it. Here's my honest thoughts on it. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what the fuck ever, you're not going to be able to change this right now. Right. So this has been science. Yeah. And we talk about, I I talked about, we talked about this scientists. Exactly. Well, it's just the world and it's just the way you view the world and why, like I had this conversation with our editor yesterday where he was like, man, I'm not really into politics, but I like this and this and this, and I think I might be this, right? And he goes, my parents are like hardcore Republican. And mm-hmm. I was like, well, I think most of the people go for Republican later on in life. I mean, guns is one, mm-hmm. but fiscally, financially, taxes and shit like right, that, right? right? Mm-hmm. And I think that has to do with it, where I, the conversation I had with him is at 16, at her age, right? You, I, everybody else is filled with hope and you can change the world and everything else. Well, you're a else. Democrat. Yeah. And you go through that and you're like, hey, man, I can you're make liberal. a difference, right? Yes. Then you get to college. You see some fucked up shit that you never saw in high school or you go to the military, right? And you get involved in uh, a war or, or something else that's going on and you see some fucked up shit in that, in that regard uh, where you're like, man, maybe this is not what I thought the world was, you mm-hmm. know? Like that, the naivety sure. starts to evaporate, and then you get in your twenties and you start getting real paychecks. The naivety, naivety of mm-hmm. it. But you start getting in your twenties, you start getting paychecks. Then you start looking at your taxes, yeah. Uh, and then you move wherever you want to move to do whatever it is you want to do in this life, or wherever you get hired. Right. Mm-hmm. In my case, it was Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. That was the profession I chose and what I was going to do and everything else. Then you start looking at your checks of how much the government's taking out and what California itself is taking out. And I was like, motherfucker. Right. Then you start to get really angry about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then other people start getting in your ear, CPAs and shit. Well, you need to form an LLC. Make yourself an S-Corp. Why? So you can cheat taxes. So you can mm. beat taxes. And you're like, oh, fuck. All right, cool, man. But why do I have to do that? Well, here's why you have to do that. And then little by little, slowly over, you know, mm-hmm. and that's why you see older People in particular who are just like, well, I'm more conservative now. It's not the fact that they're super conservative. It's they just really care about taxes and their money and shit like that. Yeah. Um, with the climate change thing, with the money that they want for this in America, that's a lot of fucking money that could be going to other places. Um, currently, right now, if you looked at the climate change money that they want and or need, I would rather take that money and give it to teachers, firefighters, police officers, 
things that are helping today, not mm-hmm. that will help in a hundred years. Mm-hmm. I look at that as that's my fucking grandkids' problem, not me. Okay, sucks, but it's true. Like, sure, we've got to live now and get through the days now. I would rather have better, happier teachers, not better teachers, but happier teachers, mm-hmm. uh, more police officers, um, mm-hmm. and they should be getting the same wages that of a job of that importance, paramedics, mm-hmm. first responders, they should be getting these wages instead of higher wages instead of climate change. And then say this, hey guys, if you would like to donate this extra salary to climate change, go ahead. If not, cool. This is because that's where that money's coming from. We're going to give it great, to you and then. It's a great plan. Dude. I think so. Yeah, gosh. How else though <laughs> in the budget, Jesse, dead serious, how else in a budget are you going to no, look at this? No, it's a great plan. It really is a great plan. <laughs> Why are you such an asshole about it? No, I'm being serious. What are you? I'm being serious. Like, I would rather see all that climate change money go to help, go to other places rather than oh, sure. that. Sure. Y- you? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, we. I think I would still like there to be, I mean, it's not a task force, but you know what I'm saying? Like a branch that is is working on it because like you say at the nth hour we need to come up with something they mm-hmm. need to be coming up with it so those people need to get paid right well, so you're saying just like stop all funding let's stop thinking about it at all let whatever happens happen right is that what you're saying close to it yeah okay close to it where it's just like hey man like with these emissions tests and things like that right instead of because this happened to me in california it happened here which i was shocked about i was like what i have to get a fucking emissions test for a brand new car you're just taking my money at this point. Like you don't really give a fuck that anything's happening in my car or the carbon footprint that it's producing on a one-year-old car. Yeah, I don't know. Right? Yeah, I don't know. If you're serious about it, then mm-hmm. enact a law that uh, that you have to go electric by, you know, 2030. I think like France does, or I think England's doing the same thing, and they're in the process of it. Right? Don't we have that? Already? No, we don't. We don't have that oh, in place okay. right now. Um, so if you want to do that, great. That would help save money. Like nothing pisses me off more than getting an emissions test. Well, that was the Green New Deal. That was part of the Green New Deal. It's shitty. The Green New Deal, if you really want to help, make everything electric. Enact that as a law. Like Th- That was what they were trying to do with the Green New Deal is make everything. Well, that was, that was a portion of it, right? Portion of it. I'm just saying. But right. Like, yeah. You, you got to fight for one thing in this world. Like, that would be a big one that you could change immediately and be like, all right, cool, man. Mm-hmm. Here's the deal. Everything's going electric by 2035. Like, I'd be more than amped to have a Tesla. They're about the same price as any other car that you buy. I think naturally it will go that way by... Force it. Do you know what I mean? Where, uh, again, with Tesla and electric cars and self-driving and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it's going to you know, naturally go that way. But right if you want to make a big concrete change right off the, off the bat, mm-hmm. that's, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Because, one, again, then you're putting a Y... And a, you know, I said this earlier, but a Y2K sitch into place of like, hey, guys... You know in 2035 we're switching to this because they're doing those with our IDs now. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. I tried to re- renew my ID online yesterday, and they were like, no, you can't. We're switching to a world ID. Do you know what that is? Alec, do you know what that new ID is? Yeah, it's so it's oh. a driver's license and a passport? Okay. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's long with, right? It's not sideways? I think it is. Yeah, so now we're all going to have to get this, and that requires some second-party validation or some bullshit, right? You're not going to... Driver's license will be extinct, and I think it's the end of 2021. Um, and everybody has to get this mm-hmm. thing. And I got warned about it at the airport the last time I flew. They were yeah, like, hey. me too, but I didn't know what it was. That's what it is. Okay. So You just get it at the DMV? Uh, I, apparently, yeah. Oh. Um, but the thing is, is uh, they made a hard law on that. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. We're doing this end of 2021. It's mandatory that everybody has one. If not, 2020. 2020. <laughs> um, but yeah. they're preparing you now of like, hey, hey man, we're, when we fly everywhere else we go, like even the DMV is just like, look, you're going to have to have this ID. Do it. And I'm, I, you know, look, I imagine it's for more security and everything else. Um, the ironic part about it is we live in a state that doesn't enforce IDs for voter security. So it's just like, yeah. If I don't have to show an ID, what the fuck do I have to get one for anyways? Mm-hmm. Um, if I can just tell you my name and my address, which is what I was told last time I was voting, 
Oh, um, yeah, that's right. What's the big deal? Yeah. Um, so, but that's something hard and, and efficient where it's, hey, that's in place and that's going down. So mm-hmm. the, the climate, if it is pollution and, and noise and, you know, motors or whatever, right? Go make everything electric. That'll be a, a drastic, huge change that everybody will have to abide by. And that's it. Um, that would do something at least right off the jump. But uh, you'll never get China and those fucks to do it. No. <laughs> so. China and those fucks. It's what it is. <laughs> We're down to China and those fucks, man. So, oh, Lord. I think it's little things like that where, all right, great. We'll make a compromise on this. Because by passing... Let's say you passed that, right? Let's say you did my idea, and I might be running for president one day. Let's sure. say you did my idea. You gave that fucking climate change money to all first responders, mm-hmm. police yeah, officers. I, like that. I mean, I like it. Education, everything else. And then just said, all right, to, to counterbalance that, boom, everybody's going electric by 2035. Um, for an economy, working on cars and everything else, you got to switch, switch, switch over. It's going to create more jobs. Mm-hmm. Got to get everything going because it doesn't have to be just Tesla. And I know Elon Musk gave up all of his patents, mm-hmm. gave all of them up and said, hey, here they are for free. And you guys can copy everything I'm doing. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, I, no one has to my knowledge yet, which why? Why not? Um, they may be working on it. I mean, it takes it. He has sunken so many. Sank. 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 He has sank so many. Mm, sank so many. Sunk so much money into, yes, his own company. Correct. It, you know, and went through, had so much to begin with, mm-hmm. lost all of it doing this and slowly is building his, you know, right. Slowly built his way back up and then he'll like, you know, blow it on rockets and shit. Who knows? Which I think that will come in later into play down the line where it's like all the shit he's doing with SpaceX is important, but it is for the future. Um, but that's his own money. The biggest problem with Tesla truthfully is, is not the cars. Um, it's how to make them faster. Mm-hmm. They need more. Like they have to build those for the demand. They have to build those faster. I mean, I did it just to do it, you know, for that mm-hmm. new truck. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you pay the hundred bucks, um, you know, they tell you, look, this fucker's not coming until 2023. Like, right. So, so, okay. Good luck. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for your money. Um, well, it'll, it'll eventually come out, mm-hmm. but I guarantee you it'll be delayed. Right. Uh, you just need more plants and more of those things. But uh, it's a fucking platform, James. I'm starting right now. Presidente. Yeah. Um, yeah. But look, that's how to make real changes quickly, I think. The rest of this shit is fucking A, man. You can put this girl on a stick and put her up. At, you know, She can be your puppet anywhere you want, but that's not going to do anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Weird, huh? Yeah. Uh, weird. This took a strange, strange trip. Uh, I want to take down another one since Jimmy Tree Legs Day. Okay. Um, O.J. Simpson. The Juice. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not know this story, and it's really, really fucking weird. Um, when he got arrested, obviously for all of his... Sh- well, he was falsely accused, but... Um, right. <laughs> he's, and now when he's, he got framed. Yeah, and, and now... He got acquitted, obviously. Sure. Because uh, there obviously wasn't enough proof. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's out there looking for the real killers yeah. right now. Yep. All uh, over the golf course in Florida. No, it's uh, Nevada. In Nevada. In Nevada, sorry. yep. Yeah. Um, there, when he, he lost, he ended up losing a civil suit to the Goldmans. They own fucking every goddamn cent, pretty much, that goes right. in income-wise, except for, I forget what the percentage is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like enough to live or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, he's got a fat ass pension from the NFL that they were able to touch. Mm-hmm. So that's how he's living, living the high life. Sure. But, um, he was hiding shit from the Goldman's for a long time. That was his, that like that he wanted and, and stuff like that. Um, and he didn't want them either sold or to touch. Okay. Um, one of them was a Heisman trophy and this story came out and, uh, so he won the Heisman trophy in, in 1968. Right, Heisman Trophy's going on. Uh, just happened last night. Joe Burrow won the Heisman Trophy, and uh, congratulations to him mm-hmm. at LSU. Mm-hmm. Worthy winner. Um, but somebody had the trophy, and uh, they fucking it was buried um, in a backyard for 21 years, buried in the ground. 
Because he was hiding it from them? Uh, hiding it so they wouldn't sell it. Um, and uh, I don't know what a Heisman Trophy is, is worth. I mean, I would guess 350 to 500 k OJ is a different story, so it's like right. whatever. And especially at this point. And you know Flavor Flav owns that statue from the yeah. show. Yeah. And it's in his backyard, and it's mm-hmm. like he wanted to give it back to him. He's like, no, I can't take it. OJ, the, the fucking... The Goldmans will sell this and have this. Like that's it. You got to keep this thing. Um, but burying a Heisman Trophy in the in the ground uh, is crazy, crazy to me. Yeah. And they don't really know what the, what the How origins. How they find it? So somebody just returned it twenty one years later, and just gave it back to them. They don't know. There was a replica made once it was taken. Um, from USC and uh, and put somewhere, but mm-hmm. who fucking knows, man? Mm. Uh, strange story though. Mm. Buried in the ground for twenty one years. He just never s- ceases to be a dirtbag. Strange. <laughs> um, I guess the guy re- the guy who returned it um was stashing it in various LA's apartments and between jail stints. And then he just returned it to UFC, USC, hoping to get a reward. Uh, Jesus, man. He said he wanted an auction because you have to keep impressing your girl. Nothing impresses your girl rather than having OJ Simpson's Heisman Trophy. Um, but wait. Because there's two copies. You get one for winning it yourself, and then mm-hmm. one goes to the school. Okay. So the one from the school. So he was, had one himself buried. I, I guess. Um, they don't know. They run totally different ends of the country. Um, man, it's just a, a bizarre story right now that they're 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 unpacking obviously over the weekend because it's the Heisman Trophy thing. Um, but uh, strange, right? It is strange. I, it I know Reggie sense. Bush. Yeah, Reggie Bush when he got caught for taking money and and buying his parents a, a house or whatever it was mm-hmm. while he was in school, mm-hmm. they made him return it. Mm-hmm. He had to give his back. Yeah, that's why I'm like confused about the it being hidden from the Goldmans. Uh, buried in a yard. They're not. Uh, here's the speculation. I don't think that's what it is. Yeah. Here's the speculation that he gave it to a friend. Okay. They buried it, so he wanted to keep it. Okay. And, and then he never got it back. Yeah. So who knows, man? Uh, so that may have been the deal with the Vegas thing. Well, the Vegas thing was similar, where he goes, "I want my, I want my shit back." Right. So, so he, he wasn't trying have, to sell it. He, he was like, I want it back. He given it to somebody yes. to hold on to. Yeah. And the guy he gave it to, he said, sold sold him out or whatever Got it was. It. But uh, yeah, man, similar sitch where he's just uh, like, I just okay. wanted my memorabilia back. Mm. And even and, on that and, audio tape, he yeah. was just like, I just want my memorabilia back. Because if there's one guy who still loves all of his accomplishments, it's O.J. Mm. Simpson. Narcissist. Other people have just sold all their shit. Uh, trophies and everything else. Yeah. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just did it. Yeah. Gave a bunch to charity where he's just like, man, I yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with these championship ranks. That's like a good, like a normal good person. And like OJ is, I'm not going to say he's the worst guy in the world, Jay, but he may be. You're speaking out of school here. You he don't may really be. know. He you could really be know. the worst <laughs> fucking person that we have running the streets free <laughs> right now that we know of. Right? Oh. <sighs> By he way, could be. Quick update. We haven't decided on that show with OJ. Or Casey Anthony. Yeah. Casey Anthony and him are neck and neck for the worst, most horrible piece of shit human beings <laughs> that are freely walking the earth. I would say. I'm probably right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll exclude China and those fucks, I guess. But like. Yeah. This will be an American thing, right? Um, I would say probably those two <laughs> that are free. No, they're not the worst people in the world. There are yeah. way worse people, but as far as being free and getting away uh, with murder. With murder, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sure there's some serial killers out there that you But we know don't of. know but we don't know about them. Mm. They didn't go to, you know, a very public trial. Sure. And be set free. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I look, I don't know. I, I bet you there's some serial killers out there hiding in plain sight. Yes, there is. But I'm saying like that's not what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Um, I bet you there's others that, that are captured who do some really fucked up shit. So. Yep. And that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Just walking around freely in the world. I'm saying there's two people neck and neck for we've seen their trials. Mm-hmm. Very public. Yeah. We've seen all the evidence in both. One is actually one actually admitted to it. And we still let her go. Yeah. The other one maintains that he didn't do it, although we know he did. And he's just playing golf somewhere. And she's has a kid, I think, in Ohio somewhere. So, you know, could they're probably the worst. Who has a kid in Ohio? Uh, Casey Anthony. Does she really? I think she does. No way. I The last article I read a few weeks ago was that she was talking about having another child. Oh, but didn't. Yeah. And that hasn't happened yet. Um, you know what we should do is a show in Orlando and 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 go through all the people that f- fucked Casey Anthony. Oh God! We Oof. met all. We met like eight of them, and like oh eight Lord. people who were friends with her and or knew her. And uh, then you could do your tr- your true crime show from there, Javes. That would be amazing. You could really get into it. Yeah. I have no interest. In what? In pressing mute on my computer, but I have no interest in her. But I mean, I would like to talk to people that. Uh, so you wouldn't do a true crime stitch with, you know, finding out people who knew her and all that stuff, like interviewing people. I guess that would be. I, I thought that would be your dream. Yeah, I mean, um, in the world of like serial killers, murder, things like this. Yeah. She's the least interesting to me. She's just a piece of shit. <laughs> She's a piece of shit asshole that we all know. We all know what she did, how she did it, and she got away with it. Is there anybody that survived that Jim Jones sitch? Yeah, yeah. What about chatting with them? What do you think that would be like? I would totally. Ch- I would chat with all kinds of people, and okay. I would chat with people that like that uh, hooked up with her bef- back in the day for yeah. sure. Okay. I mean, you know. Uh, Jim Jones, yeah. Um, if we're going Ohio, I would talk to people that escaped Dahmer mm. or ran into him and like weren't good enough. Yeah, right. I think you're Saw super him fascinated out. in that. Yeah, people that weren't good enough to be killed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What kind of person are you at that point if you weren't good enough to be killed by Dahmer? What does that say about your life? Yeah, exactly. You know and. You know, I am I'm more interested in these weird uh, the the serial killer, like the profile of a serial killer, like that. They, you know, have horrible uh, upbringings They're They hate their mom like they're bedwetters like they're just like it's a really crazy profile that you, they, they all usually fit. Or whatever. Like your friend, your friend was stating. Oh, a bedwetter, well, she yeah. might he might she might have been. Yeah. Um, But Kate, like people like Casey Anthony. Mm hmm. I have no, like, that doesn't impress me. Like, you're just a piece of shit, douche, asshole, murderer. Right. Everyone knows what you did, how you did it, and you got away with it. Yeah. So you're a horrible human. Horrible human. Whereas with serial killers and serial killers, there's so much more behind it mm-hmm. in their psyche and just the whys and hows and trying not to and doing it anyway and the compulsion and weird shit sure what was imprinted on you as a kid there's just crazy shit to do with them it's way more fascinating than a piece of shit douchebag kid murderer okay that wanted to fucking party yeah and is a spoiled little piece of shit asshole (laughs) i mean i can't say enough bad things about her no of course of course i like all of them right um and then i'm also fascinated with people that kill like snap Right, yeah. like the wives that snap and kill their husbands, or vice versa. Right, where sure. you just go, like, what? Why didn't you just get a divorce? Like, I don't fucking understand. You know, too much time, money. Right, you know? like I don't understand how killing be easy, easy is the just easier to kill and, option. And hide the body, yeah. Kill and hide the body. But so. I guess so. And that mentality too is just like, what the fuck, dude? It's time. And I, there's always the mistress, right? So there's always some crazy. Yeah. redneck pussy that's making you g- go nuts yeah it's never a super hot chick by the way no. it's always someone that's like even a less like 
less attractive than the person they're killing. She's all it's amped insane. up on Mountain Dew Blast all the time. Yeah, and, and just, just like, like I guess into anal or something. I have yeah. no other explanation for why like this person would kill this lady and then like want to run away with um, If you ever meet a girl from Florida splash. all high yeah, all high, all hopped up on Mountain Dew Blast. <laughs> Mountain Dew Icy Blast. It'll change your life. <laughs> Alex, like a give bad it one guy shot, job. Yeah. You know? We get a Alec over here. He's they 20, met at 21 the, years they old. They met yeah. at the metal shop together. You need one of these in your life, my man. Oh, Lord. You meet it. Yes. You meet at the metal shop. You're, uh, you know. At the factory that you both work at. Yes. Cut off jean shorts, uh, a titty hanging out. Or mm-hmm. it's just, uh, you just keep putting it back up, putting up the tank top. Oh. An ill fitting crop top. Yeah. yeah. A loose tank top. Mm-hmm. Oh. They only shave their calves. Like they will not go above the knee. Nope. That one? Yeah. Oh, because those hairs are really soft. No, they aren't. Nope. And you can still see them. You can still see them. They're They're not soft. You need to go all the way up to the... Pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop there. To the side of the pussy lip. Yeah. Yeah, Exactly. (laughs) If you want to stop there, that's fine. You want to stop there, that's fine. But if you're from Florida, you should keep going all the way up. So anyways, these girls drive these guys fucking nuts. Yeah. And they kill their wife. And kids, too, sometimes, if they're in the way. Oops, my titty fell just out. Just so they can, like, they just don't play the tape to the end. Like, how does that, how does your life look? Yeah. Say you do get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mountain Dew Blast really going to fucking do it for you th- for the rest of your life? Ah, it's, a, <laughs> it's a good goddamn drink. Um, Is fucking Tweety Bird boob tattoo really going to fucking do it for you? Oof. I like it. Or who's what's a the mini cat? mouse? What's the cat? The what? Is it Tom? <laughs> Tom and Jerry? Yeah, just shaving. A, a Tweety Bird and a Tom and Jerry. Well, the 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 Tom the cat is is just with a lawnmower tattoo, shaving oh, the bush. Shaving the bush. Yeah. Really funny. Yep, big fan of that. comedian. I love a com- a, a comedic tattoo. Big uh, big fan of Florida tattoos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A claw, like a claw mark. Yeah, like you got. A boob claw mark tattoo? Yep. Or a shark bite tattooed right on the side of your rib cage? Oh, were you really attacked by a shark? No. Listen, a good tattoo. time girl will always turn into a nagging girlfriend or wife. I promise you. Yeah. You cannot escape that. Learn the rules. Learn the and rules. Especially if you're killing someone for them. My God. I know. I know it. Uh, They'll bring it up constantly. They will. All right. Uh, revolutionary figure of the day, obviously. Uh, Jimmy... James, Edgar, Edgar Tree, tree Leg. Legs, yeah, um, born in, well, 1888, born every, every morning, yeah. really, <laughs> 1888 is when the legend was born, mm-hmm. uh, that Jimmy Tree Legs first shuffled down from the, uh, yes, be the, safe, the Northwest in the Washington area, um, in Oregon, a lot of pine trees out there. Uh, I would imagine. No. <laughs> Probably not. Um, very wooded area he's from. Northern uh, origins, California. Origins yeah. unknown, I should probably say. And uh, today's the day. If you woke up with uh, with tears and propane on, um, smoke in your, your house. Your house just tires, torn apart. Tires cut up. Yep. Um, gas siphoned. You felt siphoned. a little bit like you had carbon monoxide poisoning. Yep. Your feet are bloody. Yep. Then you have had yourself... A, a happy pine cone, pine a happy pine day. day, okay? <laughs> um, old Jimmy Tree, tree legs, legs coming down, down the, the mountain. mountain. Yep, spreading fear to all the children, and uh, so fun. It's a blast. We skip Elf on the Shelf and we go right to a terrifying evening called Pine Cone Day. Exactly. Uh, right. I hope you're spending it with a loved one, um, or someone's someone to be at your house. You should not be alone no, at your house. No, you should definitely not. So be either alone. a loved one or just or invite someone over, hire yep. someone. Yeah, stay at a hotel. I mean, that could be a thing <laughs> that people maybe need to do. <laughs> just an unknown. Maybe take a motor home that day and sleep in that. There you go. Get your family safe. Uh, we love you. Stay safe out there on Pinecone Day. It's always dangerous. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Uh, good night, everyone, and happy Pinecone Day. Good night.